Okay, today's base is Artemis, I presume that's right, Colosseum, Mr. Fizz Ed. Let's have a look at this one. I uh, can't see many lights. Oh, I just thought I managed to catch that in time. Let's get down and have a look. See what the light situation is like. Okay, the main lighting seems to be the main building and the holograms. Uh, I don't know about the trees on the other side. I can't quite see that far. Let's have a quick look over the other end. So the other lights is on the other side of the uh, landing bay. Mainly lights in a tree. Okay, enough. Okay, it's morning. I don't want to see my backside of my ship there. That's <laughs> that's not very nice. Uh, right, let's get down and take this while we're here. Optimus Col oh, I can't keep still now. Optimus Coliseum, last edit, Mr. Fishhead. Let's just uh, grab the coordinates. Okay. Ah, uh, we've got to buy a fuel. I doubt if it's enough to, maybe enough to buy this actually. It's not a real lot of lights, which is okay. We don't care. There's enough bloody butterflies on this planet now. <laughs> no, they're not carnivorous. Carnivorous butterflies, that'd be funny. Attacked by a swarm of butterflies. <laughs> right, so we got the portal, uh, base. Terminus, they call it now, don't I? I still keep calling it a bloody portal. Right, let's go round. We're going to see what's around the outside ring. Uh, we've got a few growbacks, but nothing unusual. The bane of a builder's life. we got a first shop, apparently. And it looks like a gift shop. So, the Colosseum has a gift shop. With... Floaty snots. <laughs> Gex. I won't bother going upstairs. We'll come, probably come down there in the other ring. Let's go on through. There's enough pieces here. Lights and... Bibs and bobs. But it's fairly plain. Just an outside ring. Until we get to a kind of gardenish area. They call it gardenish. Well, relaxing area. You know, so the gladiators can put their feet up and sharpen their blades. Or blunt them if they want to more, cause more damage. More bloody butterflies. Damn things. Diplos. And there's a big planet above it. Can't remember this is the planet. <laughs> I can't remember. Alright, it doesn't matter. Uh what a bloody pillock. I hope he gets a ticket parking like that. What do you think he is? Okay, um, so underneath the shopping area, oh god, I can't even see. We've got, I'm trying to, sc oh no, that is the shop. Okay. I spoke too soon. Oh, I can't get underneath that one. So there's a shouty. This is another shop. When that happen? Oh, it's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going mad. So he sells pies and drinks and uh, melons. <laughs> That's business. I'm gonna have my melon fried, deep fried melon. That sounds interesting. Uh, that's what to do when you get food poisoning. Okay. So here we have the underbelly of the Colosseum. And you realise it's all shaped like that, so the blood all ends up in the middle. Right, so they've got a coffee sitting drinking area. Oh, it's because he's either beer or milk. <laughs> you can have milk. Yeah. It's a, a Gek Brew there. You can see that. He's quite happy. I want that one. It says, it's pointing. Shouty Gek is the bar. Um, obviously, with all the butterflies around, they're going to make wine out of the butterfly. Butterfly wine. Such taste. Uh, we seem to have a oh, snot ball out there. 
if I come over there. I just want to see how much power is actually being used. There you go. Not a lot. 20k. I'm being poisoned by him, but that's all right. We don't care. I'll get my revenge in a minute. I'll shoot the bastard. Now then. Uh, we've been through the coffee, and the trees actually are better there because, you know, except for there. You don't want to sit on that with fur in your cup. So we've been round, because there's the ship again. So, simple, but millions of bits. So we go up the next level, which is this one. Should we walk around the outside ring first? Have a look at the bits. Um, what we do is, we go up that one. Oh dear, I don't know. We go up one. Trouble is the build. Oh, well, it's all right. It's not so bad. Uh, now we're confused which way I want to look. But we go up here first. As you can see, there's plenty of seats. Let the blood run freely. So he's got a dip layer because that's the landing spot. Otherwise, it's like humans and diamond shapes. Again, human diamond shape. So I don't know whether the one opposite the flower is different, but there you go. Can we see from here? Just uh, walk around a bit. No, I don't think so. Right, so the rest is all. Let's get down, back down to the shop level or the building level. Uh, mind the cactus, you don't want to sit on one of those. Not very pleasant. There's some fighty warriors. And we got a door. In the door, a quiet room. We can eat your pie in peace. That's uh, <laughs> how the door operates. You know, you've got to do it by hand or by sight. Or just kick it. <laughs> We've got some uh, human sil silver humans. And a door that opens up. So, I'm stuck on a chair. That's what's matter with that. I don't think you get much of a view if you sit down. So, I'm not going to. Ah, uh, okay. The next building's all the way over there, so we go out for that one. We fly, we bend out to that one. It's all right. Bend? Bend? I meant to say fly. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. It leads down to the shop. This is the one. This is the one with the garden on it. Oh, perhaps there's more than one entrance. I don't know. Wait. No, ship's there. Halfway round is the garden. That's right, okay. Can we see in here? Whoa. Yep. I can see in there. There is a door. Well, I know it's a tree, but I'm in a door here. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. <laughs> well. So we can sit down and look the other way if you're blood squeamish. Sit. This is the main man's chair. So you can see the ongoing entertainment. But the gladiators were really relieved when cinema took over. What's upstairs then? Let's go. This must be the way down to the uh, middle section of the build, or building. Um, yeah, you don't want that falling on you when you sat there, but that's okay. So he's having a, it's a tea room, surrounded by three-armed gecks. And then, yeah, fish tank, yay! Fish tanks, warmth, and a door under the stairs. Why? 
That's the one that goes. Well, yeah, wait. That's the one that goes out to the. Yeah, where we were, wasn't it? That must. Where, where, wait, no, it's a back door. Back out to the uh, recreation garden area to walk round the pool. So how did that happen? How did I get down here? I don't remember. But this has got an awning, so this must be like for the wife. Oh, I think I jumped too far for that. I was trying to see where I am and where I wasn't. Right, so that's the one with the awnings. And that must be the main man up there. Okay. I'm with it ish. So, again, the penny seats and the two penny seats, or a cent and two cents, if you like. We got another room. Or have we been in. I don't know, I'm lost. <laughs> it's only a round bloody circle and I get lost. This one's got slugs in, so I know I've not been here yet. The baby slug. Just the one. He's a lowly baby, baby slug. It's a better seating. Good use of the holograms there to make them look like they're fighting. Okay, out, out. There's the bar. So that's the bar. Still going round, which is back to the beginning. Because there's a ship. Using the ship as the marker, so I know how far round I've been. Right, down again. So we got some badass reindeer. Vampire reindeer. You got teeth on that. Okay. Vampire reindeer with vestigial <laughs> wings. I guess, uh, you know, could be dangerous if you get trampled. Uh, we got the driver. So this is the chariot racers. Uh, it's got a kind of, it's a Colosseum, so I guess it's a Roman feel. And there is the second chariot. Both driven by shouty Gex. Otherwise known as Romans. In the middle, we have a sword fight going on. Between the silver Gek and the gold Gek. Oh, I didn't think I was going to get through the middle of that. Okay, that's them. This, I'm not sure. That's supposed to be like two kind of serpents. It's a serpent laying on the floor, maybe. What's he attacking? Nobody. He's just there. Oh, wait. Hang on, though. He's already... Oh, look. He's been covered in blood. He's been stabbed by a giant pin. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's got a pin. So what's the next one? We've got a Stegosaurus. No, sorry. What do they call them? Triceratops. Uh, fighting. Imagine that. Fighting a Triceratops. That would be painful. Now we got two uh, Dinos. They're having a stare-off match. I could stay longer than you. No, you can't. I can. No, you can't. Oh, shut up. <laughs> okay. Right. And we're back to him, which I didn't mean to, because I forgot about this guy just about to knitting needle a crab. I'm not surprised. It's the worst case of crabs I've ever seen. Or is it head lice? No idea. Is that a lot of them? Is that everybody? I think so. We have an underside. I don't think I can get through. Oh, I can get through there. <laughs> Although, it's an escape route, obviously, if you fall through the flooring. Well, that's good. We like escape routes. We don't like being stuck. I was like, I'll see you get out quick before you get stuck. 
So there is the entire Colosseum fight. Now we're going to get up on the top here somehow. Just have a look around the uh, awning section. Ooh, how are we going to get out? What are you stood on? Doesn't matter. We go up. Up. That's the other way. Oh, God, now I'm stuck. Wait. Right. <laughs> Let's do this properly. Up is in this direction. Okay, now we can walk. So, it's fully covered to keep the, the viewers dry. Not the combatants, but they don't care. They're going to get wet anyway with some of the blood. Well, they'll be dead anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. There's the awnings. There you can see the whole thing better than if you were sat in a chair, because those chairs are a bit restrictive. All right, well, that is, as usual, bloody excellently put together. It's an older one, and being um, I'm so organised, I can't, I keep coming across ones I've stuffed places and I keep changing position, oh, never mind, it doesn't matter. But that, I'm glad to come here, excellently done. We're off, see you later.